For Idaho News 6, I'm senior reporter Don Nelson at the Eisenman Turnoff, where they had big problems here yesterday because the roads were a little deceiving. It looked dry, but it was slick. Road crews can't put down the liquid treatment because it's too cold, so you have to watch yourself. Here are some of the things you need to know. This week's freezing temperatures have created challenges for road crews because they have to wait to lay down magnesium chloride, or as some refer to it as liquid salt. Right now it's just too cold to use it. It's not effective at 16 degrees and below. I asked Jennifer Berenger with the Ada County Highway District, why would it hurt? Berenger says it's because it could actually have a negative effect. One, because snow on top of the liquid could dilute it, and two, when it's this cold, the liquid can actually start to gel, creating a bigger problem. They'll move snow pretty well. Aaron Bauer with Franz Whitty Nursery is one driver in a small fleet of snow plow drivers that are ready at moment's notice to head out and agrees with Behringer's assessment of the liquid salt. When it's this cold, it's it's it, all it does is lower the, the the freezing temperature of the water, right? Once it once it uh, dissolves into it. So if it gets cold enough, yeah, it, it's not as effective. Bauer looks forward to the days he is in constantly checking the forecast. You're thinking on your feet a lot. It's a lot of getting up checking, try to go back to sleep, oh. get up again. It's pretty brutal. <laughs> and as the temperatures start to rise, you and your neighbors can help crews in a big way. So as everything melts, make sure that the storm drains are clear. Make sure that the gutters are a little bit more clear so that water has a clear path to the storm drains so we can prevent any localized flooding. The bottom line, meteorologist Scott Dorval says things will get better as we go further down the road. But in the meantime, take your time, show some patience on the road. Reporting from the Eisenman exit in Ada County, senior reporter Don Nelson for Idaho News 6.